It's the grandson of Right Thought. So I wanted to make this video because I got inspired by something a brother said, Barry Russell. Much love to you, brother. Be blessed. He said, much love to the outlaws. <laughs> and I feel you, bro. I feel you. Much love to the outlaws. See, because we who live in the truth, we know. There's another brother who said, if you know, you know. I think his name is Arrow Crusher. Something like that. If you know, you know. See, the, the, the way that we that live in the truth, the way that we speak is bitter. See, remember when John ate the little book and it was sweet in his mouth, but it was bitter in his stomach? That's how it feels when you tell the truth. You, 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 you say the words and it, they come out so sweetly and easily and beautifully because the Ruach is speaking through you. But the people that receiving it is like bitter. It's bittersweet, as we say. A lot of people scoff, they wave their hand, they deny it, they don't listen. You don't have much subscribers, you don't have many people listening to you. But the words are coming out so beautifully to those who, who are in the truth, they know. That's their spirit is stirred up when they hear the truth. See, we that live in the truth, we know that. And see, to this world, you're an outlaw, so you are a rebel. <laughs> That's who... That's really living in the truth. We know that about you for real. See, those around you, they don't know you for real. You elect, they don't know you for real. See, you just like your father. You give them grace. <laughs> they think all of this time that they've been giving you grace. See, because of what they perceived as your naivety. But once you woke out of that, and you knew what was going on, you gave everybody that you that you were looking at grace, see, because you knew all they shit. And you still do. You got all kind of ammo against people around you right now. All your gang stalkers and shit. Your family members that's hating on you and all that shit. You know all they truth. And you got all that shit locked and loaded like a 12-gauge shotgun on your hip when you around them. For, for any time that they decide that they ever want to get out of line. See, because our weapons of war are not carnal. We use this double-edged blade, you see? This tongue that cut like a double-edged blade when it got the word of the most high in it. And we laced with it that live in the truth. And we know it. So we outlaws to this world. They like, man, they like gunslingers. So y'all gotta know that, elect. Y'all ain't weak. Y'all are perceived as sheep. Because that's how you appear to, to this world that lives in blindness. They're harmless. See? Harmless is a dove. They take advantage of those qualities that you that you seek to possess. Those things that Yahusha told you to do that you seek to do in its purity. They seek to take advantage of that. Thinking that you're that you don't know that. <laughs> but you know it. And you give them grace. You don't blast them with that truth that you have. You could. I told you, y'all like gunslingers out there. You just been giving everybody grace. You've been keeping your mouth shut. You've been keeping them bullets in the chamber. See, but when we get the doo -doo 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 -doo, letting them bullets go, <laughs> you get the land niggas to waste easily. Easily. Like I said, I, I take great pride in, in slaying my enemies with the least amount of effort as possible. I take great pride in that. One blow is sufficient if it takes more than that I'm a little bit irritated with myself a little bit okay come on brother you gotta get a little tight and mow up with the truth sword one blow is all it should take and most of the time that's the case you see death blow every time so yes to this world yeah you an outlaw they like man what the hell is going on this world is changing the consciousness is changing. Things are getting shut down. The illusion is falling. Everybody's getting found out for all their dirt that they've been doing. Everybody's getting exposed. There's a TV show called Under the Dome. And this priest is in there and he's hearing in his hearing aid. He's hearing the word Moab, 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 Moab. Moab is modern day China. 
and then there, and then an outbreak breaks out, a pandemic breaks out inside the dome. People get getting sick. So let's look on the earth here. We have a Wuhan virus, China, Moab. Now watch how the truth about to cut through like a like butter on a hot summer's day. Watch this. You have Moab and Ammon. Okay. The so-called Japanese, so-called Chinese, Koreans, you know, those people. Moab and Ammon. There are two brothers. Now let's see how these brothers came to be. Remember when the Most High was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? And he told Lot to run with his wife and children. Well, Lot ran. He had two daughters and his wife. And he fled. His wife turned and looked back and turned to a pillar of salt. So Lot continued to run with his two daughters. Now, when they got up, ran up in the mountain and, and hid and watched the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, they perceived that the whole world was destroyed. The two daughters did. They said, well, there's no men we can marry and preserve seed on the earth. So I guess we'll get our father drunk. The oldest daughter says, I guess we'll get our father drunk and lay with him and get seed from him. So the oldest daughter gets Lot drunk. It says he didn't know when she laid down and when she got up and took advantage of him while he was drunk and got seed from him. Okay. Then the younger daughter did the same thing. Got him drunk again, laid with him and got seed from him. Remember who we're talking about here? China, Japan, Korea, those places. They got seed and, and they produced two men called Moab. One daughter had Moab. The other daughter had Ammon. Now, when you have incest babies, they come out with mongoloidism. Their eyes are slanted. So we see some slanty eyed people today that bear the same marks that are very upset if you just call them the same. I'm not Chinese. Japanese very def very defensive about that if you call them Chinese. So is the Chinese. Don't call them Japanese. They're Chinese. Separate the two. They're different. In other words. They even got movies where they be hating on each other. Okay? Remember in World War II? Did J Japan have any problem conquering China? <laughs> nope. Okay then. So, But they got the similar features. Well, that's where they came from. So when the movie and the guy's going, Moab, 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 and then a pandemic hit. That's what happened in this world. China, 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 then a pandemic hit. Whoa! See how that truth just cut through like a double-edged blade? You see? So it ain't no hiding no more for nobody on the earth. But you had to know who Moab was. And you had to know why Moab is cursed. They ain't going to win neither. See, you know why? Because they tried to put a curse upon Israel. Tried to do some divination and put a curse upon Israel. And it backfired. Just like all the other curses. Because there is no curse against Israel. Simple. You curse Israel, you shall be cursed. You bless Israel, you shall be blessed. So y'all decided to curse Israel. So now you're cursed. See? Now people are seeing your shit, in other words, for what it is. You eat bats. Y'all see that? You eat all kinds of things while they're still alive. You eat all kinds of unclean foods that the Most High say don't touch and eat. Y'all decided, well, well, the Torah ain't given to us. See, you're proving you're a heathen. Eating octopi. Um, put the thing in their mouth and the tentacles are still moving like this. And they're laughing. <laughs> That's gross, see? That's uncleanness. And so you had a time of grace where Abba let you do all that unclean shit with your little wet markets and all that gross ass shit y'all like to do and eat. The fish is just still going like this on the plate. A Hebrew not about to have that shit. A Hebrew don't even like his steak with a little bit of pink in it. 
He'll cut that bitch open and look and be like, oh, no, I got pink in there, bro. Everybody else be mad as hell. White people, so-called white people, y'all be like, what the hell? You ruined it. You mean you put too much flame on there. There's, uh, where's all the blood running out? Oh, man, the center's not even cold. I don't want this. Hebrew like, well done, please. They be like, how you want your steak? Well done. No pink, please. No pink. Well done. See? Most I say, don't partake of the blood. It's in our nature. We don't want blood. We're like, Hebrews are like, ooh, don't, no, hell no. Everybody else like, ooh. You saw like, ooh, blood. Mm -hmm. I seen an uh, Edomite shoot a deer, then cut the deer's chest open and pull his heart out while it was still warm and take a big bite out of it. Said he was blessing the deer. Took a bite out of the thing. Do you see that? No Hebrew Israelite is going to do that. <laughs> Pow! Shoot the deer, run up, cut his chest up, and pull the heart out. <laughs> Thank you, deer. Oh, it's still warm, huh? No, that's 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 beast stuff. That's uh, heathenness, heathen stuff. Y'all understand that? So y'all are different. Y'all elect ones. Y'all are different than that. Y'all are outlaws. Y'all are holy outlaws. Roughnecks. Hardened. Ironed. Sharpened. Conquering lions. And they know that shit. That's why they try to tell you, calm down, calm down. They got these names that all, all your family, they got names that they call you by. All these weird ass little nicknames. They call you, hey, Ray, Ray. Hey, what's up, little Bo? Hey, what's up, little man? They try to keep you into that frequency of being good boy. Be a good boy. Listen, do right to your teachers. Do the right thing. Pull your pants up. Tie your tie on correctly. Shave your face. Come on. Stand up straight. Sit up in class in the front row. Be valedictorian. Go to college and get your degrees. Be a stand up citizen. Be something. Be a lawyer or a doctor or something. Be somebody out here. Be a politician, even. Outlaws be like, fuck no. Nah. We was in class like, ain't nobody fine in here? Well, then what I'm in here for? Shit. Math teacher up there talking that shit. We like, algebra. You you lost me when you started putting letters in there. We was all good when you was the, the two and the plus and the three and the even the... Uh, Division. We was all good until you went with the A, B, sides and shit, rhombus and all this shit, trapezoids. Uh, okay. And uh, what a, that girl I saw at lunch, she ain't in none of my classes. She ain't, you're looking at your hours like fifth hour, sixth hour, only got two hours left. She ain't in none of them classes. Damn, I'm going to I'm gonna have to go look at her schedule and see. Shit. My homeboy ain't in here. Oh, man. Class over. Ding. Next class. Oh shit. Damn. Okay. Next class. What that's gonna be like? That's how we was at school. I'm just telling y'all the truth. I was in church one day. I said, and this girl was in front of me. Oh my gosh. This girl's body was so bad. I'm like, I couldn't focus. I'm like, every time they told us to stand up to pray, <laughs> I was happy as hell. I'm like, I'm sitting there. They like stand up. I'm like, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's stand up. Shit. So I can see again. I'm looking. I'm like, God. I'm young, I'm only like 14. I'm like, dang, I'm looking like, God, this girl body is bad. When my mama's sitting next to me, she tapped me. She like, she tapped me. I turned around and said, huh, I ain't looking at her booty. <laughs> she like, I ain't say nothing about looking at her booty. You just exposed them, so I just tapped you. I'm like, oh, yeah, you right. You right, but I, I was looking hard. I mean, I ain't, dang. It's just the way we was. Not interested in the rudiment. Vain repetition. We already had been taught not to go by vain repetition. That's all we were seeing in those institutions. Vain repetition. We went to work. Vain fucking rep repetition. She got to put the fucking on that shit. Work. Oh my God, I remember that shit. Man, when Abba woke me up and snatched me away from there, I was like, whoo. Man. I woke up when I wanted to the next morning like, damn, I can do this? And I won't die? <laughs> I mean... You do that shit because you're thinking, I have to do it. And see, 
if you really in this truth, any man, if you really in this truth, you was with a, nar a woman that's a narcissist. See? <laughs> Before you woke up out of your slumber, you was in with a woman that was a narcissist. So you probably, when you started having the job, y'all had a relationship, you felt good about yourself, you was making good money, you was advancing, but you was with a narcissist that just tore you down. <laughs> Spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, mentally. Well, you women too that are in this truth. Y'all understand, y'all was with a dude that just didn't, they never build you up. You're like, damn. So you stop giving this shit. You was at work, half ass doing work. Then you start looking around at who the hell's fine. Then you start hanging out with whoever that is. That, that's fine. Then y'all start sneaking off and doing whatever y'all do on the side. That's fine. Because you really outlaws to the system. You don't go along with the system. So you find it hard as hell to do that shit. All of it, it'd be hard. Being married in that institution of marriage is hard. Anything that got licenses, trying to keep maintain your driver's license and your registration and insurance is hard. <laughs> Shit, that should be hard to sell for an elect. We be like, wait a minute, we can't just travel? Oh, we in the world. Oops, I forgot. I'm from the kingdom where we travel freely. We think and feel and bam, we there. I forgot you got to get in the car and get registration and make sure your shit's all up to date and all this other shit. Make sure you then did I pay my shit? Did I get renew new my tags? You, <laughs> you got to renew your shit. You got to pay to renew it. You didn't just buy a car, register, it's good forever. No, you got to do it every time. We got to make more money. We got to rape you some more. Damn, can you at least throw some Vaseline? No, no, no Vaseline at all. <laughs> So like I said, you ain't getting along well when you try to be in that world. You try to get in it, you be in it for a little while, you be doing good too. Because that's the thing about us. People don't really understand how we cut for real. Matter of fact, while I'm talking about that, let me just explain it to y'all then. We, what they say passive aggressive, we passive aggressive as fuck. It's just the truth. We'll let it go, we'll let it go, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. We'll let it go 70 times 70. But eventually, when that balloon burst, and when we come, we come in with some shit that you just can't understand. When we decide we're going to fight physically in any way, whether it's with a bat, whether it's with a crowbar, a knife, whatever it is, if we're going to go toe to toe, we're going to go all the way with the shit. Because we give a whole lot of grace. We be like, come on, man. And then after we whooping your, we whoop your, while we whooping your ass, we probably saying to you, see, damn, man, damn it. You bleed like a motherfucker. Tore the fuck up. We like, see, I didn't want to do that. Damn, I didn't want to do that shit to your ass. Helping him up and shit. Remember when Mike Tyson knocked out Francois Botha? And then he helped him up. <laughs> that motherfucker was like, uh, thank you, Mike. You fucked me up. Then help me up. Damn. <laughs> You fuck me up, then help me up. That's how you gonna feel. You run across one of these elect the wrong fucking way. Male or female. We, we're we lions. We will come all the way for the kill. And go right to Abba Yah like. Like that emoji that be like this. That's how we be. We be like, Abba. Um, we start go searching the scriptures. Uh, Samson killed a thousand with a jawbone. So. <laughs> I'm for real though. You see, the, the anointing of the Most High causes a man to slay a lot of people. It didn't say that Samson just killed the people. It says the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. And then he slayed them motherfuckers down. Gideon, the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. Anointed. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord. David, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him from that moment forward. Bam. Yahusha came out the 40 strong in the spirit. Bam. Stop playing with this shit. This caused you to slay your enemies. When the Ruach come into you, it caused you to slay your enemies. So every time I'm talking, I'm killing people. Simple. And I'm glad to do it. I'm happy because of it. When niggas come in, they be like, man, shut the fuck up, bro. You don't know shit. You just can make it some shit up. Even though I'm coming lasering with scriptures. Every time I'm talking, I'm backing that shit with scripts. Backing that shit with scripts. 
I'm braiding that shit with scripts like dee, 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 dee. easily. I'm talking about some other shit. Bring it through a script. Bring it through a script over here. Then talk about some more shit. Then bring it through a script over here. Then talk about some more shit. Stop playing with me. <laughs> okay? Okay? Oh, don't talk like that. That's pride. That's truth. What kind of shit is it for? Uh, Y'all seen a gibbon? With the, the, that ape uh, primate that has the long ass arms? I think it's an ape. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. He got long, the long ass arm. His hands look like a hook like this. And he swing from them branches. Oh my gosh. Have y'all ever seen that? He move through the trees like with ease. That nigga be moving through the trees. Boop, 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 boop. Branch to branch to branch to branch. Now, when someone's watching him, when he notices somebody's watching him, he really gonna do this shit. He really get the spinning and flipping and flipping and doing all that. So then it's not wrong for him. That makes you really go, whoa, that's amazing. He like, that's what I am. I'm just being me. So the same thing that the Cardinal do when he tweet, 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 tweet. I'm just being a Cardinal. You're the one going, wow, that's beautiful. Look at those colors and look at that song that he sings. That's beautiful. <laughs> he just being him. So when you're an elect most of the most high, then when you slay somebody down with the truth, you just being you. See, our duty, all it was, was to come into alignment with the truth. To shed off all our bullshit. Now we're free. Now you throw some shit at us, what's going to happen? Nothing. But when we throw some shit at you, what's going to happen to you? You going to die. You see? Why you an outlaw and a castaway? Why your family was like, man, get the hell away from here. You crazy. What they really saying is, God damn you blasting me with that light. Get that. I shit. Let me get back in the dark. Fuck, turn the light off. Isn't that what shit that in the dark do? Uh-huh. So like I told you, the most is going to reveal all the shit. Everybody's shit. Moab, Ammon, Ishmael. See? Who thinks that he's the most high leg? He's got Allah. And his prophet Muhammad, Ishmael, you got cast out because your mother was a bondwoman. Simple as that. You're our cousin. So we'd be like, what up, cuz? We see you at the liquor store. We'd be like, what up, cuz? We go ahead and get our backwoods from you. <laughs> What's up, cuz? Behind the counter, Ishmael. See? But you're our cousin. So don't try to act like you're the elect. Your own books say Israel is the elect. See how the Most High's truth just, I told you, butter on a hot summer's day. It sets everybody's ass the fuck down. You want to have a United Nations with the Hebrews? That's why the Hebrews are not allowed at the United Nations. See? Hebrew Israelites from the nation of Israel are not there. Because they'll bring their scriptures there and say, this is what it says. <laughs> the Most High has chosen us above all y'all. To be a special people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the first face of the earth. So you have the United Nations and we have Israel that you have to answer to in the United Nations. So answer to me. That's simple. See why they don't like you? <laughs> See why you are outlaw? A gunslinger? You like Billy the Kid. They know it too. Especially, I told you, when you get adept with the word of the Most High Yah. When you let it consume you and you are filled with it, when you pull that heater and you start to let it go, like I told you, whoop, 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 it don't miss the mark. Your aim is deadly and it's sharp. And they know the shit. Remember, have you come to destroy us before the time? Go into those swine. OK, thank you, sir. Please. Shoo, we almost got wasted. Then they fell over there and drowned. Legion, for we are many, a mighty demon. Couldn't do a damn thing in the face of Yahusha. Outlaws, warriors, spiritual gangsters. Okay? The family, the true family, with the true Godfather, Abba Yah. You see? <laughs> Y'all better get hip to this shit, man. See the one, Israela.